Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I have a very special costume tutorial for you. My mom will be showing you guys how to make a transformation dress. This can be added onto any dress, which is amazing. So you can transform into any princess you want. Salakadula, minchikabula, bibbity babbity boo. We can have magic, believe it or not. Bibbity babbity, bibbity babbity, bibbity babbity boo. <laughs> My daughter is in the Rogers and Hammerstein play Cinderella for her high school. They had borrowed a breakaway dress for Cinderella's transformation gown, and it was way too small for the girl that was playing Cinderella. So she asked me, Mom, do you think you can do something? I decided to make this transformation dress, and I wanted to show you how I did it, because there's very little information out there about these. You need a dress that will be able to change on stage and have her transform into her beautiful gown. So this is how I did it. The first thing I did was I took a white shirt that had a regular collar on it and cuff sleeves. I cut off the sleeves and then what I did was I cut down the top here and down the sides on both sides. And then I added a bit of bias tape to the side so that it would have a flap on both pieces that I could sew things to. Because you want this to be able to tear apart so that it'll show her gown underneath. The next thing I did was I cut off the collar and then I just sewed it over and made a casing to put some elastic in. But I had to tack it right here on both sides so that it wouldn't come apart. The next thing I did was I laid the white shirt out and I got a pattern for a vest that I liked. And I made the vest but I didn't sew it up on the side seams or the top. I just sewed it to the white shirt. Before I sewed it on, I added these little plackets, just some square. So I made these little square plackets just to sew all the way around in different places so that it looks more Renaissance looking. And then I sewed all of the vest onto the white shirt. But I did, however, leave it open in these areas so that you can adjust the size of the vest to whomever is wearing it with the velcro. So the next thing that I did was I had to worry about the bottom. Now this is going to be underneath her beautiful ball gown so I had to come up with just a plain skirt and I've made the edges really rough on the bottom. Then I took another skirt that I had right here that was just a normal skirt that came down to about the knees. I sewed the blue skirt onto the waist of that one so that they were hooked together. And you can see that under here, they're sewn together right here. Then I took what was left inside out, hanging down, and I sewed it to the bottom of this shirt. Now I knew that I had to leave a little bit of a way for it to open up so I cut it down here on the skirt and then I sewed this flap on so that it would help to cover her gown. So and you'll see how we did the gown later on, how you hide it really well. But that allowed her to be able to have it drop down. Now I'll show you how it drops down. We have snaps and velcro all along here under the arm on the sh edges of the shirt and then on this part. So she rips this off first when she's transforming, she'll rip this part off first like this and then she pulls it from the top and it falls down like this and her beautiful ball gown is inside here and rolled up inside of this. I needed this to be a little tighter so I added some stretch elastic in these spots and just zigzagged over it. I needed to make sure when I made this that the shirt when it was undone did not go below the dress otherwise it shows under her beautiful ball gown. So we had to make sure that we could hike that up and that's what this elastic did. I also had to hike up this the waistband a little bit by rolling it and then sewing over it. Another issue we had is this gets heavy. I had to put some velcro straps on because our girl is so skinny she's like a size one so I put these velcro straps on that will allow us to tighten up this skirt just as tight as we need it for her and that makes it really good for adjusting that's basically how you make a transformation gown and if you look close at it I'm just holding it up so that you can see all it is is this sewn together this sewn together this pocket to the waistband and then the dress underneath it's really simple but the effect that it makes on stage is absolutely beautiful So we're gonna show you how to reset the dress. It's really very simple. I love her dress because it doesn't have a lot of netting underneath. And so what we're gonna do is just start rolling this up. Can you hold that? We're doing the same in the back and just rolling it up. Okay, and then we'll take this part of the dress and put it up over her shoulders. She'll just hold it there for a second. Then we'll turn her around and we'll take the front of the dress and do the same thing. 
and pull it up. We snap it along the top here and Velcro along the top and the top of the sleeve. And we wanna make sure this doesn't show, so we'll pull that over that to cover. Then there's a Velcro piece under the arm. Have a Velcro piece at the bottom of the shirt here. We hook that together and then overlap this. Tuck this in the front and overlap and put the Velcro together again. Right here, we've got an extra piece that tucks in to cover any blue that might be too big hanging out, just like that. So first we put on her slip underneath. Then we put on the transformation gown and we have the Velcro straps on the side so we can get it good and tight. We get that in position with both the front and the back hanging down. Then we put her pretty beautiful dress over the top of that. And then we roll up the skirt, put the front and the back together, Velcro her in. It's that simple. So the hat is made for someone with dark hair and it's made with hair sewn on it so the hair looks like it's down and it's just sewn inside like this. That way she can have her hair up in a bun underneath this and rip this off and her hair is already beautiful. It just looks like her scraggly hair that she's been working with. In order for her to get this to transform, first thing she's going to do is grab at the sides and pull it straight forward. Then she's going to start twirling as the dress undoes. Ta-da! Thank you guys so much for watching. This is like the coolest thing. I love it so much. I actually want to go to the store and just transform <laughs> and see what people say. <laughs> Give my mom lots of love. Give her some thumbs up. She's worked hard and she's doing such a good job on this channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Click over here if you want to see how I made the Cinderella dress underneath this transformation dress. And click over here if you want to watch me and my family every day on the beach house. See you guys next time. Bibbity, bobbity, woo! <laughs>